Hello everyone, hi everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review for the new limited edition 16 inch Rapunzel doll released for the anniversary of Tangled. Um, it's been 10 years, can you believe it? I know. <laughs> um, at first we thought that this doll was probably pushed till next year because we had heard nothing about her, but randomly about a week and a half ago, she showed up uh, in Japan in some stores randomly and she made her way onto Instagram and eBay and etc cetera, etc cetera. we finally saw her and we figured she was coming this year as we all wished so Disney store announced her she came out here today in America uh, which is December 5th she was available on shopdisney.com for only a few minutes and also some local stores have her I went to my local store and she was gone so I had to go to another it was just kind of a nightmare kind of morning but I'm so happy that we were finally just able to get her right uh, this doll has been the discussion of the week <laughs> so many people hate her a lot of people love her some people are half and half um, I myself I'm kind of on the love her side but I do have some critiques I think she's a beautiful beautiful doll her face is the most gorgeous accurate Rapunzel doll to date um, her hair is beautiful in my opinion could be better um, the outfit the outfit itself i think is a beautiful concept i put together this picture here kind of like different designs um that i think maybe inspired the new outfit and i absolutely love it you know i love new ideas i love new designs something new not just the same purple outfit that we've already gotten before and seen so many times so i absolutely love the design however it could have been done better i think that's my critique with it but however we're going to get into all the details i'm going to compare her to the first um, limited edition doll i'm gonna change their outfits and put them we're gonna have some fun in this review <laughs> basically but yeah let's just get on um, and get started first up we're taking a look at the box and it's a metallic light purple on the top window it says tangled which i love i love the little flowers as well it says ages six and up and again in person these boxes always look better we have the tangled uh, 10 year anniversary logo right here which is really pretty it's just rapunzel <laughs> swinging around and making a, a circle it's actually a sticker stuck onto the plastic i would not try and take that off at all i also love that the background is the lanterns absolutely the most romantic scene in any movie ever so i love that they included it, it says rapunzel limited edition one out of 5500 which is quite a good amount for her however because she is such a popular character they should have done maybe just another thousand i don't know in my opinion the side of the box again is the same pattern with the flowers and the back of the box has more flowers <laughs> and it has the bow that you can just untie that's just to keep the box together you can go ahead and pause if you like to read this and uh, the price is not on here and there was some confusion that it was 150 that is not true the retail price is still the same 129 dollars and 95 cents then you have the certificate of, of authenticity and that's actually a pretty low number pretty cool but yeah we're gonna go ahead and take her out of the box um just because i just feel like she's one of those dolls that might even look better out of the box but before i do i always like to show you what she looks like in it you know so you can get a feel on the way that she was displayed and all of that as i said i love um the lanterns seen in the movie so, and I've always wanted her in her braid for a limited edition doll. So I'm very happy they finally did that. I love the way she's displayed, the lanterns in the back. The hair is so long, it's actually wrapped in the front. I think she's a beautifully displayed doll if you wanted to keep her, you know, in the box. You could totally do that. She looks beautiful in it. So, you know, it's, it's up to you. I hope that eventually I can get another one. Maybe she restocks online and then maybe keep one in the box. But this one is definitely coming out. Um, I wanted to point out really quickly that the new classic doll, um, her face mold is pretty much the same face mold. It was just blown up. So it looks a little different on the big doll, but it's pretty much the same new face sculpt that they use here for both the classic and her, which is awesome. Now I wanna show you a close up of her face in the box because I feel like she looks better than when I show you a close up with a white background, right? Because the white background washes her out while here you can see her perfectly. She has this beautiful, beautiful makeup. I love that um, shiny kind of light purple eyeshadow. The lashes are really long. She has her green eyes. She has the freckles. The lips are a beautiful, like dark pink. Absolutely love this face for Rapunzel. Again, 
This is my favorite. My favorite one before this one was the classic doll. Now she she won. She's absolutely my favorite lip, um, face for Rapunzel yet. Yeah. Let's just capture her so well. I love her nose. It's so like pointy, like how it's supposed to be, right? And I love her lips. The side profile is just perfection. Absolutely love it. I think that's really what saves this doll overall. And here we have Rapunzel out of the box and she just looks so beautiful. One of my favorite things about this doll is also the fact that they included Pascal because he is so important to her character and he also is green. So he adds a little bit of a pop of color to this overall pink and purple fantasy, right? It's just a little bit of green in her hand and her eyes and that's just perfect. He's cute, it's just a you know piece of plastic. <laughs> it's a soft plastic and he's painted very well on his skin and his eyes. He's not wonky or anything. You can put him again with a rubber band on her arm or, or you can put her on her shoulder. There he goes. But you know, you have options with him and that's fun. Now my second favorite thing about this doll other than her face is her braid. Yes, it's a little bit thin, um, but I don't mind that so much because since it's thinner, it's not gonna weigh her head down or anything like that. But it could have been thicker, I guess. It could have had more flowers. It's really up to you. I've always wanted Rapunzel with her braid. So I am so happy that, that they did it this way. I think if it was thicker, it would look weird on the side of her neck. I don't know. I think they did what they could here when it comes to the braid, to be honest with you, because then it's too heavy. I'm just really happy with it. I, I don't really have a complaint with the hair situation. She has a couple of flowers. As you saw, there was one on the side. Then there's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're on six, which is this one. So pretty, it has a little thing there in the middle seven eight nine ten so there's about ten flowers on this and then on the bottom um, she has another braid that wraps around and it's uneven here if you were to let her hair loose if you were to take her hair completely down i'm sure that it would be much longer because it just makes it shorter when it's in a braid but yeah the, the hair is just a really good length i know a lot of you wish that it was a little bit thicker and now we're taking a closer look at the outfit before i take it off and you see the way that it's constructed i just kind of want to give you an overall look while it's on the doll. So as you see, she has this purple, very light fabric um, kind of sleeves. The website, they're described as chiffon and they're pretty, they look pretty on the doll. We'll take a look at the way that they're made later. Now she does, she does have this white piece that folds in the middle, right on top of the yellow uh, bodice. Now this part here is kind of yellow gold. It's the only part that has embroidery. Um, not, there's no other embroidery on this doll, but um, yeah, <laughs> it does there on the front. Now she does have this really pretty purple ribbons on the side. They're attached to the dress. Um, so I'm not gonna take that off because I kind of like the way that they position them, right? Kind of like towards the back. I love that, so I'm not gonna be taking it off, um, you know, the little tags. But overall, I think it's just a really pretty design. Um, and it could have been executed better maybe on the top bottom, which is the, the skirt. Uh, there's no embroidery, it's just this metallic foil uh, print kind of on, on there. The fabric for the dress is really pretty. And you'll take a closer look at that later. But yeah, overall, it's just kind of simple, right? I think that's, you know, they're overall. Now, the she has this like long cape situation here. It's um, It has like an ombre effect where it gets darker as it goes to the bottom and it has the folds. They're similar to a lot of dolls that we've seen um, this past two years or so. You know, that kind of fold which is beautiful, I, I don't mind it, but we have kind of seen it a lot. And the back of the dress is really simple as well. Now I've seen a lot of people do this already. They kind of put those those things in the back as sleeves, play with it, you could do that if you like. Um, that's just an option for you. So we'll take it off so you can see that the bodice is separate from the skirt. However, because those two little things are attached, I'm really not gonna mess with it. You know, I can take it off still and not have to mess with that. She has the usual paper underneath, regular stand for 16 inch dolls. Yeah, she has the paper just to kind of give it volume and we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Uh, she has articulation at the knees as always and her feet are arched, which I love. She doesn't have shoes because Rapunzel does not wear shoes. <laughs> now, as you can see, the braid is pretty long now that her dress is out of the way. It's pretty long hair. I. Part of me wants to take her her braid down just for the hair, but I won't be doing that. <laughs> now she has articulation here. However, mine seems to be stuck and I can only do so much when there's a camera in front of me and I don't have any strength to do it. 
while I'm filming, but I, I'm sure it, it can move later and it will be fine. Now she does have the new arms that they've been given to all the new dolls, the new hands, I'm sorry. And I absolutely love the hands. They have so much character. I hope they never go back to the other hands. <laughs> now here you can see, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful bodice in my opinion. This is my favorite part. If, if I was to pick a favorite from the dress overall, my favorite would be the bodice. The back part is really simple, but it is constructed very nicely. It has a second layer there, maybe to not stain the doll. Maybe that's why they did that. And this part is really not stitched or anything. As you can see, it's just kind of loose, uh, but it does give it that puffiness uh, for the puff sleeve. So I, I really don't mind that, but I can see people who are like, you know, really into the dolls and stuff. They can not think of that as a bad thing. Same thing for the cape. It's not stitched together. It's not hemmed nothing um i know that's upsetting <laughs> for a lot of people personally i mean it's fine like i said the the design is beautiful the uh, execution is not great but the designer did a beautiful job if you're watching this you did amazing i love this new look however yeah i think that i don't know if it's because of budget or what the case is but definitely the quality here is it's just not as as great See, the skirt is not even like a full skirt. It's just, it's attached to the back, which is a really nice fabric. That pink is beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's just, it could have been better, especially in the bottom. I think if there was embroidery on the bottom, it would have been a big safe. And now here we have uh, Rapunzel the new, limited edition Rapunzel doll, with the first one released. And as you can see, I just wanted to put them next to each other so you can take a look and see how different they are. In the face department, the new doll, in my opinion, it's just the best. She's so beautiful. The first one is too, but I think they finally captured her. Her nose is more accurate. The lips are more accurate. If anything, maybe I like the eyes on the first doll a little better, but overall, the new one is just perfect. And just like magic, here they are. Both have switched their outfits. It only took me about 30 minutes behind the scenes to get it done, but the result is beautiful. They can both wear each other's outfits beautifully. We'll take a closer look now at each of them separately. But yeah, I think they both rock each other's outfits. Here we have the new limited edition doll wearing the original limited edition doll's dress. And it's gorgeous. I think she looks beautiful in it, of course. Um, this is pretty much the perfect doll, right? We have a fancier outfit with a better face. Now, when you do put the braid in the front, because she has that collar, I'm not sure how you feel about it. In my opinion, I think it's fine. You know, it doesn't bother me too much, but yeah, it is it is kind of on the way. And then now we have um, the older limited edition doll wearing the new outfit, and it just makes her look a little bit more simple, but she does look beautiful with the loose hair. She reminds me of Rapunzel from the show, from the series, right? And now a special just added surprise, we have Rapunzel in her brown hair, that's the wedding limited edition doll, wearing the outfit. And in my opinion, out of all of them, She's probably the one rocking this outfit the best. She just looks so pretty with the brown hair and all this pink, right? It's really nice. It's not really pink, it's like a light purple. But anyways, let me know in the comments which one you think um, rocked this dress better. And yeah, that's pretty much all for today. I hope you were able to get her. If not, keep an eye out on the website. She could always return and check your local stores. Again, stay safe and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.